A Week in Photos. I thought I would try something new and share a recap from the week featuring some of my favorite photos. You know me, I love growing all over the place and it's winter time, so let's start in my indoor garden. Check out the Alta Farm this week. Lots of new radish seeds popping up, basil being harvested daily, and I'm ready to cut back and use some of my lettuce. Don't the lights look really cool? It, the camera on my phone totally emphasizes the pink. Here it is without the lights on. Gorgeous. Gotta love having this just a few feet from my dining room table. Check out those strawberry seeds I started indoors. It's about time to get them ready to go outdoors before spring arrives. With the unseasonably warm weather, lots of really fun things are happening in the outdoor garden. I went ahead this week and hung my spring wreath, anxiously waiting for spring. Check out that ground cover sedum. I don't think it ever died back this winter. A Facebook garden chat group member had questioned about lamb's ears, so I had to go out and check on mine. And sure enough, look, it's coming up just as if it was late spring. Crazy weather we've been having. Time to share some of the really cool things for the garden I've been finding while shopping this week. You can imagine my excitement to find this in the garden section at Costco this week. Isn't it gorgeous? I have never seen a daylily that looked like this anywhere. Well, except online, of course. I'm excited for this to get jiggy in my garden for sure. This one, who can resist that ruffled edge with that green border? Oh my goodness, this one is going to be super pretty to see bloom. This is a super unique one. I've never seen this. And so for sure, I brought this one home. I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of this plant, but I'll just show you the package here. I try very hard to pace myself every time I go grocery shopping because there's so many great varieties available of these bulbs to bloom. Here is one package of the doubling begonias I'm going to start out in the dome this week for a container garden. I put this one in the cart to bring home as well just because when I googled it, it was something that showed up in the botanical gardens in Chicago and it was just gorgeous but now when I shared it with my Facebook friends I got some mixed reviews about growing this so I'm gonna go ahead and do it because it was a great price and hopefully I can share how it grows in my garden with my friends on Facebook okay this was super cool i found this at costco as well and it's a complete kit to raise your own bees how cool is this it was a great price and i'll show you the box here it has everything included that you need there's even a little booklet so of course i shared this online with friends and before I dive into something like this, because you really need to think about this, I think I'm going to look into some classes and study up a little bit on bee raising, but this is a great deal and I hope I don't regret not getting it. Couldn't resist these little container blooms. They were $3.99 a piece when I was shopping for produce at Kroger's. I love all the unique seeds and bulbs I'm finding in very unusual places. Where are you finding gardening supplies this year? Many northerners head south this time of year for spring break. Me, I head out to the dome. I love this picture of Olivia. 
We have so much fun in the dome. It was 30 degrees outside and very comfortable 85 inside the dome. This arugula planting is pretty exciting. I love the colors in this one. All grown from seed right here in the dome in the last few months. Now this variety I like to use in salads and sauteed, but it's also fun to come in the dome and pet it. <laughs> now here's those yellow trailing pansies in a container I planted last late summer that's been enjoying the nice temperatures in the dome. Look at that yellow, so pretty. It's almost time to move this back outside. Well, this agave I used to always bring indoors into my sunroom is loving it inside the geodesic biodome this year. The color is just beautiful. The peas I started about a month ago, well, it's been a little over a month. They're doing great, especially since I added the trellis and a little bit of twine for it to climb. And here's over on the south wall, all the pretty herbs and chard and there's parsley in there and some geraniums and african daisies oh look at it it's just beautiful and now here's those little strawberry plants that i started indoors i've brought them out to the dome and we're going to add some really good soil to it to the little the little plants and it's going to be fun to watch them get a nice head start out here in the dome who knows maybe we'll leave them in here and let them produce back over on the south wall i forgot to mention a couple of my favorite little containers i have growing in here this is a container i brought in from last summer and it is garlic chive yummy yum yum it tastes awesome in soups and I also throw it in my scrambled eggs. There's also two containers of the borage I brought in from the summer garden. And here are some of the tropicals that I started out here in the dome, getting all the sun from the south wall. These onions, I'm thinking about transplanting and giving them a little more space. The mint looks so pretty, isn't it pretty? But be sure to always keep it in a container because this stuff can get out of hand if you plant it in the landscape. I've got some raspberries in containers in the dome that are doing great. Look at the fresh new green growth on that. And more broccoli to harvest. This stuff tastes amazing, grown in the cooler temperatures. And in this photo here are a few of the containers with tropicals. These are elephant ears. Um, I think I planted three of the large bulbs in each of these containers. So as you can see, there's plenty more green to come. So I hope you stay tuned for more shares. And with spring comes fresh new things. I had to share this cute little video I took of my neighbor's new chickens. Aren't they cute? All right, guys, signing out from Northwest Ohio. Check me out, Brent Haas. Now be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking here.